Welcome back friends. In today's session we are going to continue with the solve the examples in the roots law. So today we will continue with the example 2. If you remember and if we were together in the previous session we discussed about, about this um, solve the question. So today we are, we are going uh, to continue with the examples. Now this is uh, one among the questions which appeared in the next exam and it requires some of the techniques so you must be careful in listening so that it will be easier for you to know what is the technique required in such kind of questions now we are saying that uh, liquid y and z are completely miserable so that means they form ideal solution a certain mixture of two liquids boils at 410 kelvin when the pressure is so the important thing is this one which is the pressure so what is this pressure this is the total pressure of the two liquids that means p total uh data given p total will be equal to 1.63 times 10 power 5 newton per meter square now we are saying that if the pressure of y is this one pressure of y that means um if the pressure of y that means p naught of y is equal to 1.15 times 10 power 5 newton per meter square and the pressure of Z is your pressure naught of Z is equal to 6.04 times 10 power 5 newton per meter square. Then the question is calculate the mole fraction of Y in the liquid mixture. Calculate the mole fraction of Y in one liquid mixture and two in the vapor mixture. Now remember is how I, I have told you that um, this is the total vapor pressure. This is the pure pressure of Y, this is the pure pressure of, the, of Z. Now from root slow, from root slow, root slow, we are saying that a pressure of Y will be is equal to mole fraction of Y, then P naught of Y. And the pressure of Z will be is equal to mole fraction of Z, P naught of Z. So, as we know from Dutton's law, pressure total is equal to PY plus PZ or PZ or in other words, pressure total will be equal to mole fraction of Y, P naught of Y, uh, P naught of Y plus mole fraction of Z, P naught of Z. So, from here, let's call this equation 1. Now, from here, you, you must let, so let mole fraction more fraction of uh, y to be let's say x more fraction of y to be x and um, let's say more fraction more fraction of z to be y apomelate so Kshaleti, what we are knowing is that mole fraction of, of x plus mole fraction of y will be equal to 100. So, I mean, will be equal to 1. So x plus y is equal to 1. In simultaneous equation, we can call this as equation 1. Now, just ignore about this because this is, we don't include it in simultaneous equation. But now, after that, we are knowing that the a mole fraction, for example, here, mole fraction of Z, which is Y, X plus Y is equal to 1. But Y stands for what? For mole fraction of Z. Mole fraction of Z plus X, which is mole fraction, mole fraction of Y is equal to 1. So that means Y, which is mole fraction of Z, can be is equal to 1 minus X, which is mole fraction of Y. Now, from this one, from this equation, take this equation, then insert it. Okay, in order to make the things clear and to prevent confusion, let's call this one as equation 2 and this is equation 2, equation 3. Now, insert, insert, or let's say substitute, in other words, substitute, uh, substitute, substitute equation 3, equation 3 into equation 1 so this is our equation 1 this is our equation 1 so what we are saying that uh, p total now will be is equal to xy xy 
is represented i mean xy uh, is represented by by x so we are saying p will be equal to x p not y then plus xz xz is represented by what 1 minus x so it will be 1 minus x then p not z and you can call this as equation 2 now in this equation 2 we have sum of numbers here we have sum of numbers and we know them exactly so to not just say many kwamba in this equation 2 uh, we can say p total and we're equaling 1.63 times 10 power 5 is equal to x p not y x p not y or in other words ungeweza usifanya hata substitution reaction uka insert just the values directly there so let's say it will be is equal to this one will be is equal to x p not y inakuwa ni 1.1.15 uh, times 10 power 5 x then plus this is plus 1.15 times 10 by 5 y so uh, this is equation 4 equation 4 so from there this is our equation 1 x plus y and this is our equation equation 4 we will solve these two equations, equation 1 and equation 4, simultaneously. So we are saying that solve equation 1 and equation 4 simultaneously. Simultaneously. So we will get x plus y is equal to 1. Then we will get, uh, we will get, um, 1.15 times 10 power 5 x plus 1 i mean c plus um, 60.04 times 10 power 5 y is equal to 1.63 times 10 power 5 times 10 power 5 so this is, will be a question 1 and a question 2 let's solve these two equations uh, simultaneously so we are going to um, mod then equation then we are going to announce i'm going to announce the year uh, two so a1 is one a2 is one and c1 is one a2 is this one i mean a2 is 1.15 uh, exponent 5 then b2 is this one 6.04 exponent 5 and c2 is 1.63 exponent 5 so you get the answer x is equal to 0 0.9 0 0.902 y is equal to 0 0.098 and if you are adding these answers you must get one because of the more fractions the uh, sum must be equal to one if we are adding this let's just try to add this and let's see what answer we, we shall get so just let's clear this and then 0 0.902 plus 0 0.098 will be equal to um, sorry i have mistaken 0 0.902 uh, plus 0.098 will be equal to 1 so we have just uh, answered part 1 of the question calculate the mole fraction of y of y in the liquid mixture so mole fraction of y come to evaluate mole fraction of y even in your x so the mole fraction mole fraction of y in the liquid mixture liquid mixture is 0 0.902 this is the mole fraction of y in the liquid mixture now let's go to to the vapor vapor mixture mole fraction of y in the vapor mixture kunaweza kuona kwamba hilo swali lilikuwa ni tough kidogo lakini unaweza kuona mole fraction of y tumekuja kupata ngapi 0.902 in the liquid mixture now in the vapor mixture in the vapor mixture 
we need to know about the partial vapor pressures of these two components in the vapor phase. Now let's start with calculating uh, partial vapor pressure of Y, which would be is equal to 0 0.902 times pure pressure of Y, 1.15 times 10 power 5. So PY will be is equal to, let's calculate this, 0 0.902 times 1.15 exponent 5. This should be equal to uh, this should be equal to 1.037 times 10 exponent 5 newton per meter square. And kija kwenye PZ will be equal to 0 0.098 times 6.04 times 10 power 5. So PZ will be equal to it will be 0 0.098 uh, times uh, 6.04 exponent 5. This will be equal to uh, 5.919, then 1, 2, 3, 4. So times 10 exponent 4 newton per meter square so from there um, we know the total pressure so to get the mole fraction for y simply to not chukua mole fraction for y in the vapor phase in the vapor phase it acquires a sauna uh, pressure of y 1.037 times 10 power 5 newton per meter square divided by uh, total partial pressure when you when you vapor phase manaki to be this one plus this one total partial vapor pressure so we will plus um 1.03 seven exponent uh, mm, exponent five we get the answer one point six two nine times ten exponent five newton per meter square so more fraction for it be equal to Take 1.03, I mean 1.037 exponent 5, where my answer you get 0 0.637. This will be the mole fraction for y in the vapor phase. Kwa hiyo, unoto kwa wa kamba, uki calculate hiyo hapo, wali calculate na mwisho wa siku kaja kupata jibu ya hapa, 0 0.3. 0 0.637 so you can get these notes from our paper again i am repeating this so as for those who will need the notes you can visit kipaja and they can buy the notes for a very low cost but uh let us end up here in the next session we'll again continue with the solved examples in the part of root slow thank you everybody and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to share the link of this video to your fellow students. Thank you.